Hello everybody and welcome to the Mars City Awards Gala. This is astronaut Terry Verts, and I am in Dubai on the Palm Jumeirah in the United Arab Emirates coming to you for this award ceremony. Uh, I was a NASA astronaut. I flew on the space shuttle, was commander of the space station. I'm now an author. My latest book, How to Astronaut, just came out and I've turned into a film director also. I have a film called One More Orbit that just came out. So I've been trying to tell the story of space exploration, getting people excited around the world about this thing that we're all passionate about. Um, I wanna congratulate all the contestants. This is an amazing project. Uh, the Mars City design is very impactful, very important for several reasons. As we go live in space, I think it's important to have this idea of architecture. I love that concept because it's partially functional and practical, and it's also um, artistic and it, it takes into account the human element, which I think is very important when you go to live somewhere and not just visit for a few weeks or a few months. Um, I also think that going to Mars will teach us how to live in an extreme climate, which is important here on Earth because you have to learn how to live with minimum resources. Um, you have to learn how to deal with uh, climate that's not necessarily what you're used to. So a lot of the challenges we're facing here can be solved and helped by trying to face those same challenges, those extreme challenges that our astronauts who go to live on Mars are gonna face. So it's a really important project um, from those perspectives. But I think even more important than that is this idea of being a multi-planet species. Uh, as we go on to do that, the 21st century is going to be the Mars century. Um, I think that's gonna teach us something about how we live together down here on Earth. Uh, it's been, somewhat of a crazy few years to say the least. There's been a lot of divisiveness down here on planet Earth and hopefully by paving the way to Mars we can help bring a little bit more unity down here on planet Earth where we all live right now. So the push out into the solar system, specifically Mars, to be a multi-planet species I think can have a lot of benefits for us. So without further ado I want to go through the awards and let me open up this envelope here while I'm on the beach in Dubai. Let's see. Okay, the first winner of the Mars City Design Urban Farming Challenge in the category of engineering for 2020 is Justin's Mars Farm by Justin Perkeva. Congratulations, Justin. Congratulations, Justin Perkeva. Yeah, so. I'm Justin Porcove. Um, I My background is uh, as an engineer. Um, I kind of have approached this from the engineering side of things, and there's a lot of numbers and not a lot of beautiful pictures. But um, in my experience, usually you need both to, to come together and make like a legit design. So um, diving right in, this is it. This is the food production system. Uh, you can see the general layout. We've got food production modules, an area for long-term food storage and inedible food waste storage. And the first winner of the Mars City Design Urban Farming Challenge 2020 in the category of Mars Architecture is Sprout by Giuseppe Calabrese. and printing foundations for the algae pools of the Green Powerhouse, a system invented by Michael Smith. After installing the photosynthetic collector core, compressed bricks will be locked together to form the walls, and the whole structure will be closed with 3D printing of the Nubian vaults. Extracted silica will be shaped into glazing to close each end of the vaults. At their arrival, waste from crops will be moved into the Green Powerhouse and dealt with immediately creating the power that will sustain life on planet Mars. Sprout introduces a self-sustaining, self-managing ecosystem that can be utilized for the year-round production of organic food in virtually any climate with both Earth and Mars applications. 
grateful, very grateful. Um, um, just thanks so much. Uh, I wish I could be there. I don't think this year we can travel anywhere. <laughs> congratulations, Giuseppe, and congratulations, Justin, on a great job. And really to all the contestants for putting in a lot of amazing work. Uh, you guys did some impressive work, and hopefully we can use that on the planet of Mars, which is literally, I'm looking at it right now, it's directly above me here in Dubai. Uh, so congratulations, guys. Bye-bye.